Welcome to our tech. Today we're going to be talking about Victron's MultiPlus, an advanced inverter charger that allows you to supply all of your AC loads in your rig, as well as charge your batteries from shore power or another AC source. The inverter charger we've used for years now at this point, it's been a real workhorse in our systems. There's been a couple of changes that we'll, we'll address in other videos, but for the most part, the models remain the same. This is the original form factor that we've been using for the last couple of years. It has a single AC input and two AC outputs. AC output two can also be configured via assistance to be able to turn on and off certain features based on certain parameters that is all configurable through the configure three. The unit's pretty simple. It has a main switch on the front with a bunch of LED indicators. This is gonna give you an on, an off, and a charger only state. The LEDs will indicate whether you're attached to the mains, it'll indicate which stage of charge you're in, whether the inverter is on, you have an overload, a low battery, or a temperature scenario. These come in a 12 and 24 volt variant and are really common in the RV space because of the form factor. Available in 2000 VA and 3000 VA ratings. Some of those come in both a UL and a non-UL version. The front plate is held on with four screws. Removing these four screws and removing the front plate gives you access to the AC and DC terminals, as well as all of the relay controls. In addition to those connection points, above the AC connections, you'll notice two RJ45 ports. These are used for your VE bus communication. They have a power assist feature, allowing you to add additional AC output from your source. So let's say you're plugged into shore power with a 30 amp circuit. If that 30 amps wasn't enough, then you could actually take power from your batteries and invert it to produce additional output capacity. This can also be turned off via charger only mode, meaning that you would only get the AC uh, input available and you wouldn't be able to discharge your batteries. The power assist feature is a really nice feature because it allows us to account for peak consumption for a small period of time without having to oversize the system. You can use Victron Connect to program these if you plug in with an MK3 adapter. It would be the same connection for the MK3. However, the V Configure 3, I think, allows for not slightly more options, but a more automated programming experience at the moment. If you have multiple units in the system, you can use VE Quick Configure, or if you want a more in-depth programming experience and, and more options available, then you can use VE Bus System Configurator. I personally like to use VE Configure 3 for individual units because it provides a more automated uh, programming experience for me, and I'm sure Victron Connect will catch up in the near future. If I'm using multiple units within the system, then I'll typically start in VE Quick Configure, do that initial configuration to get the units in the appropriate uh, configuration that I want, and then I'll use Bus System Configurator to dial in the nuances of that configuration. Overall, this is a really solid unit. It's used by many RV manufacturers around the country, uh, which means that you can get service almost anywhere, and most people have seen this over the last couple of years. Once again, the form factor we found people prefer over the new MultiPlus 2, although the MultiPlus 2 is a great option as well. Thanks for following along today, talking about Victron's MultiPlus. If you have any questions, please reach out to our staff, and as always, we'll leave the appropriate links in the description below.